For the first time since the pandemic, we're getting an inside look at USS Gerald R. Ford. After years of delays and setbacks, the question remains, when will the carrier be ready for deployment? Alex Littlehales embarked on the ship to find out what leadership says about its progress and what's next. The sound of a roaring engine is a lot louder at sea. You saw about a 12 plane launch. For these pilots and flight deck crew, that's the sound of them forging a new future. For the first time since the pandemic, an inside look from 13 News Now on the Navy's multi billion dollar project, USS Gerald R. Ford. For months and even years, the ship has fought through delays, maintenance, and technical issues. Just one example, several of the Ford's weapons elevators vital to the ship's operation are still not finished. We were still struggling to try to get uh, any of our weapons elevators up. Uh, 12 to 18 months ago, we had enormous challenges uh, with the radar on board the ship, and it's still going to be a few years before the ship goes on deployment. Despite these hurdles, leadership is choosing to look at the positives like the Ford's first fully integrated carrier strike group operations. Very similar to what you would see an aircraft carrier in workups doing. This week you're starting to see a little bit of increase in complexity. 57,000 pound aircraft from zero to about 160 miles an hour in about two and a half seconds. Every day it's test and trials becoming less like practice. And closer to the ultimate goal the deployment and readiness of USS Gerald R. Ford. The U.S. people's ship, right? This is their tax dollars at work. So what we're really trying to figure out is what are some of the things that are going to be different with a Ford Strike Group? For 13 News Now, I'm Alex Little-Hales. And tomorrow on 13 News Now at 6, how COVID-19 has affected the lives of the sailors on the Ford.